Hi, Whimsical Endeavors. Um, I figured I'd show you um, several of my organizational, what works for me, okay? Uh, my scrapbook area is disorganized right now because I'm also trying to get other things organized. But so far, what I've done is um, I have a cabinet. Okay, and this is something that I had made for me, and it's a mess, remember I told you. And basically, I'm, I'm doing several kind of things for me, which works for me. Um, you see this number one, this is for my cry cut, and my imagine cry cut. What I do is I'll put a number one on there, and what this is for is it, I actually Velcroed this on here. And if I want a number one, I put a marker on it, a mark, a number one. If I actually look at my Hello Kitty and it's a number three, then I'll go back over here and I'll just, instead of thumbing through everything, I will find number three and this is the Hello Kitty. Okay, now I made this box myself out of the foam foam board and the rim is uh, actually uh, washi tape okay this is the black one now all my cabinets they didn't have this on there I put this on here this is the foam foam board and I also velcroed, velcroed that one with the industrial and these are all my mini misters that I bought just to try it out. And they're actually pretty good. And I put mini misters on there. And uh, these were white uh, letters, um, chipboard. And then I missed it with the, the mini misters. These are my alcohol inks. And these were metal. So I alcohol ink them. Um, up here is my flower soft and I flocked them with the flower soft and then down here, I hope I'm not making you dizzy and then down here it's the liquid pearl I have the white chipboard letterings and I basically put the pearl dots all over them um, still work well actually that, that's pretty much of what I have of this type of product and then oh, this is a mess I'm still getting all these boxes um, are actually um, one is my son's pictures all my friends pictures all my daddy's pictures and family of his side of the family all my animals and flower pictures uh, of my backyard and gardens when I garden my sister her family um, just family photos I put them all in one and uh, it just makes it easy for me to do all these are they these are actually great to make your own glitter glue. These are like by far the best. So I'm actually trying to finish off all the stickles I have and then I start making my own and put the colors that I want and play around with that. Um, these are all the chunky and you can see the Velcro. And then of course here I, I stickles and then I have all my stickles and then I have uh, glitter and so on okay um, here's another idea uh, this is a corner of my house where my dining room area is I had a choice whether to have my own room which is a 12 by I think it's a 10 by 12 room and honestly I don't want it because I really, really, really love uh, having everything right there, right next to me. And so I also love my big window, which in, is in the front of uh, my house. And then I could open it and see my garden outside in the front and a big magnolia tree that I have. I, I just really love this setup that I have here. Don't want to change it. Um, more space, more room I have, the more I'll want to buy. Um, Basically, this is something everyone does, so you already know about this. Um, but what I do do is 
under here, these are all the Pearl X and I just Velcro them underneath. I'm a very visual person. I have to see everything I have or I will end up buying. This is something I made and it this thing only cost me $7 at Goodwill and uh, I painted it and made my own stuff on there. I do the little hooks and screws on there and I hang all my keys, um, extra embellishments are metal. And then what I did here is I bought a lot of these clear drawers and that way I can see my gelatos, I can see all my uh, Tim Holtz stamps, mini, mini uh, staplers and a whole bunch of things I, I see. Uh, my buttons and uh, yes I, I am the labeler and my glue gun. Um, what I did here is I put up uh, shelves, okay, and I basically made foam card, the foam board, and I put all of the types of uh, ribbons and lace and everything that I have, I put them there. Like I said, I, I'm very visual, so I have to see everything, and these are all of them. Also, I like to make my own charms to hang them on my albums and I have to hang them so that I can see where they are so I could slide it down and what have you I basically made this by putting a hook on this side putting a hook on the other side and then um, making it really taut really tight and hanging these here I didn't know I had made so many and now that I took them out and hung them, I realized, okay, stop making it, okay? A lot of people have this idea too, which is the shoe, the shoe uh, organizer. Uh, what I did here is I have a lot of these, um, it's not washi tape, it's uh, transparency tapes. And um, from China, I guess, Korea or something like that. And what I did is I hung it off one of these yarn fibers and then I put the big ones at the bottom and it basically holds all of them so they're just hanging there uh, let's see just lots of things here sorry my finger got in the way um, my table I've altered everything for me okay so here are my stickles and my table right underneath okay so if I want to get this this hot purple one hot pink or whatever this is it's already upside down it's glam pink if I want to grab it I just grab it if I want to put it back I put it back very simple system for me I had a uh, this is a shoe rack down here I flipped it around I put down there all my scraps and I put them in these hopefully I'm not moving too much I put them in here and then I will put what color it is and I slide it back under there. Okay. Um, this is something else I'm working on. And I have to gloss it and I, I just do a whole bunch of little stuff all over the place. I'm in the middle of trying to get this organized because I've been building a lot of things, putting together storage and so on with that. Um, foam card, foam board. And this is a little rough, which I'm actually going to cover it with black ribbon. The black uh, with little stitching that's very small white. I don't want to take away from what I'm actually doing. But this is foam board and I actually made it to put all the Tim Holtz and I faced them downwards. Okay. Um, this area, I basically like collecting different shape of stamps and when I got this one I actually added a gem in the middle because I, I like blinging my stuff out um, um, these I, I made this myself so I could put the distress um, distress stains in here all my stamps these are more these are the perfect pearls and those I just stuck them onto here see I stuck them on there and over here I made more um, storage 
for my stamps. And once I'm done with these, I don't buy any more of these. I'll buy probably more of these, which I really like at the color box. Um, I love these runners, the stamp runners. They're fantastic, and you can emboss and everything. This is fantastic. I love these. Um, these are my plus. Uh, Cuddlebug Plus, or I forget the names of it. Cry Cut. Yeah, no, Cuddle Pug. Embossing Plus. Uh, these are from Home Depot. These are the 12 by 12s, and I put them there. Okay, um, let's see what else I could show you. All my markers and my pins. They're down there. I made this whole thing, and I put them all in there. And that tells me not to buy anymore because I have enough. All of my jewels, all my pearls, beads, everything go down here. Again, that white thing is actually a shoe rack I've had for many, many years. And I repurposed it, flipped it over, and now I have that. I have all of my envelopes and something that I made. Uh, let's see here. The most interesting thing that I've made... Well, I made that one, plus the strips are in the back. I made little stuff in there. Um, the most interesting I've actually done is... Uh, that's My husband does origami. Uh, let me see if I can show you somewhere else. You see this? It's a rack. It's just too bright here. So let me bring you around. Don't ma I don't mean to make you really dizzy. Okay, let's walk. It's a mess right now. Um, right over here. All right. You can see this. Oh, my finger. All right. This, uh, my finger's cramping. Ooh. I'm doing it with the iPad. Okay. Right here, this is actually the corner of the wood panels. Okay, corners of the wood panel corners. I forget the names of it. But they come really, really long. You cut them to size on your wall. Sorry, I have twins and they make a lot of noise. And uh, I cut them to size. I do the acrylic on them and I can I screwed it into my wall because this is I'm staying here permanently. Um, for you, I guess you would put one of those... Um, the boards at the back that have a whole bunch of little holes in the back, pegboard or something like that. And, you know, I, anyone that doesn't want to mess up the wall. But for me, this is fine. And my husband says go for it. So I did. And that's where I put all of my stamps. Okay. Uh, and I, I, I did a whole bunch of uh, unmounted... So I don't have many of these blocks anymore. And then the really, really tiny ones, I just put them up there yes. so I can see it. Again, I really have to see everything I have. Um, I hope that this was informative for you. And I got to go, as you could hear. Bye-bye. Bye, Polly -bye. Scrapbooking. See ya. Did I do it? Okay. Oh my goodness. Me a, will I be okay? It's not turning okay. off.